The Great Chicago Fire of 1871 is one of the most pivotal events in the city's history, a tragedy that would forever change the landscape of Chicago and the way its people thought about safety, resilience, and the need for protection against the unforgiving force of fire. But it also marked the beginning of a new chapter for firefighting, particularly the development of fire boats designed to defend the city's sprawling waterfront. This is the story of how one disaster highlighted the city's vulnerability and set the stage for a new era in maritime firefighting. On the night of October 8, a fire began in the downtown area, possibly started by a careless lantern in a barn on the city's southwest side. By the time the fire spread, it was unstoppable. The winds, gusting at 30 miles per hour, carried the flames through the city like an uncontrollable beast. The dry conditions turned the buildings and streets into kindling. As the fire raced through blocks of tightly packed buildings, there was little the city's firefighters could do. With limited equipment and an overwhelmed force, they struggled to make any headway. In the course of a single night, the Great Chicago Fire tore through more than three square miles of the city, leveling over 17,000 buildings, including homes, factories, businesses, and even the city's famous wooden sidewalks. As dawn broke on October 9, 1871, the skyline that had once symbolized Chicago's rapid industrial growth was gone, reduced to smoldering rubble. The destruction was incomprehensible. In the midst of it, however, came a realization, Chicago's waterfront, its gateway to the rest of the world, was just as vulnerable as the rest of the city. The fire had not only ravaged the heart of Chicago but had also threatened its industrial core, much of which was situated along the Chicago River and the lakefront. As the city began the difficult process of rebuilding, leaders and citizens came to understand one critical truth, if Chicago was to rise again from the ashes, it needed to be better prepared. The fire had exposed the flaws in the city's firefighting infrastructure, especially on the water. The Chicago River, a busy artery for shipping and trade, was also an easy conduit for the spread of flames. By the late 1870s, the city began to explore the idea of building fire boats, and in 1885, the Illinois was launched, Chicago's first dedicated fire boat, designed to battle the kinds of blazes that had previously been unmanageable. This was a direct response to the disaster of the Great Chicago Fire, the pain and loss it caused still fresh in the minds of many. Over the following decades, the fire department added more fire boats to its fleet, each one more powerful than the last. The boats became a vital part of the city's emergency response system, ensuring that the waterfront, a key part of Chicago's economy, would never again be as vulnerable to fire as it had been during the Great Fire of 1871. As the years went on, the memory of the Great Fire never faded. In fact, the rebuilding of Chicago in the aftermath of that devastating disaster was marked by a collective effort to create a safer, stronger, and more resilient city. The introduction of fire boats was one key element of this transformation, a new layer of protection against the unexpected. Diesel fireboats were equipped with large, powerful pumps capable of moving thousands of gallons of water per minute. These pumps could provide high-pressure water streams to fight fires on ships, piers, and even along the industrial areas of the Chicago River and lakefront. The Fred A. Bussey is one of Chicago's most iconic fire boats, named after Fred A. Bussey, the 44th mayor of the city. The boat was an important part of Chicago's firefighting fleet for many years, playing a crucial role in protecting the city's waterfront. With a length of 125 feet and a beam of 25 feet, the Fred A. Bussey was a significant vessel. It had a large water capacity and was capable of reaching high pressure levels, which allowed it to spray water from a distance of up to 300 feet. The fire boat was also equipped with multiple water cannons, which could be adjusted to target specific fire sources on ships or onshore structures. As the decades passed, the Fred A. Bussey continued to serve the city, though by the 1980s, it had become clear that the fire boat was no longer as technologically advanced as newer vessels in the Chicago Fire Department's fleet. The boat was retired in 1981 after more than four decades of service. Fred A. Bussey was purchased by Navy veterans Ray Novak and Eric Toch. Together they started Chicago Fire Boat Tours, so now the 100% veteran-owned former fire boat serves as their flagship on Lake Michigan's picturesque Chicago lakefront where they conduct historical tours on the lake and Chicago River. The interior of the fire boat is a miniature museum of sorts with pictures of the boat's time in action, and antique firefighting equipment on display. In recent years, Chicago has introduced a new fleet of fire boats, which are part of the city's ongoing efforts to modernize its emergency response capabilities. These fire boats are designed and built to operate year-round in Lake Michigan, the Chicago River, and surrounding harbors, which experiences up to 30 centimeters of first-year ice. 
These new fire boats will be used to respond to any firefighting, rescue, hazmat decontamination, dive support operations, and other waterway-related responses. The new fleet reflects a modern approach to public safety, focusing on innovation and ensuring that resources match the growing demands of the city's waterways. Firefighting methodology has changed from that of the Great Chicago Fire. The wooden wharfs and warehouses of Chicago backed up to the river around the turn of the century have been replaced by the concrete skyscrapers with strict city fire codes and carrying the latest internal fire protection apparatus. The new smaller boats will have the crew's size and will eliminate the need for Union Maritime pilots. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stick around for the extended conclusion to this video showing current operation in 2025 of the Fred A. Bussey Diesel Fireboat.